Well, dressing for the social event of the weekend required a special accessory tonight. It's Canine Casino Night, so bring the dog. It's at the Radisson Hotel in downtown Salt Lake City. On the premises, Canine Royale, which is a spa for dogs featuring massages, podicures, podicures, and consultations with a pet psychic or trainer. The point of the night, besides the obvious fun, was the funds. No More Homeless Pets in Utah, our mission is to end the euthanasia of cats and dogs in Utah shelters. It's a really sad, tragic situation in Utah, but what we want to do is we want to have a lot of fun making that change. Canine Casino Night was named the best party for dogs by City Weekly Magazine. <laughs> that is, that's really cute. Well, the number of homeless cats has exploded in recent weeks with the so-called kitten season. Local shelters running out of room and time. Dan Rascone takes a closer look at why animal shelters are so overwhelmed and what's being done to find good homes for hundreds of dogs and cats. You know, we anticipate it's going to be a pretty bad year. Holly Sizemore is the executive director for No More Homeless Pets. Last year there were about 37,000 animals euthanized and over 20,000 of those were cats. She attributes the growing homeless pet population to the fact that not everyone is having their pets spayed or neutered. A lot of people say to me, well, oh yeah, our cat has had kittens, but we found homes for them all. And yet the whole concept of supply and demand, if those same people who had taken your kittens had gone to the shelter instead, they would have saved a life. The recession may also be a factor. Many people lost their homes to foreclosure and in some cases when they left their homes they also left their pets behind. People who are losing their home sadly are abandoning those animals which you should never do and it is against the law. So we encourage people to try to find a home for your pet. Shelters are also encouraging people to avoid the newspapers and breeders if they are looking for a new pet. But adopting one that's already spayed and neutered, one that's already has its shots, they see that there's a great savings in that and they also see it as a, a way to serve their civic duty and save a life. Dan Rascone, 2 News. The economy forcing more people to give up their pets to shelters, and today the shelters coming together for a super pet adoption. Big Buddha helping some animals find a home this morning. What's up, B? Yeah, you got to figure, Dan, you know, if the times are tough for humans and we can fend for our own, what about pets? It's got to be tougher for pets, so they got the super pet adoption. We got Holly here, you know, friend of the show. She always joins us every year. So let's talk first about last year. Were we able to accomplish the goals that we wanted last year? What's this year's goals? What are the numbers? How many pets need help? You know, last year our goal for two events, we have two events each year. Our overall goal was 800, and we did 871. Yeah, so, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so what's 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 our goal for this year? So this event we want to do 400 adoptions and the next event 400 as well so another 800 and it really is contingent on the weather whether or not we make our numbers but I want people to know we've got 32,000 square feet of indoor space at this event this time so rain or shine we've got plenty of places for people to chill out. Okay so Holly we're going to give a little lay of the land here as we're looking around. Brian's going to show us a little bit. What are we looking at over here? You know we're just setting up our event. These are our dogs. We're going to have about three four hundred dogs here in in another hour or two, we're just setting up. Whatever you're looking for, dogs, cats, puppies, kittens. The cats are inside, so they don't have to listen to all the barking all day. So there's no fighting. No fighting, uh, usually. Uh, but if you come on down, give yourself enough time to really look, because uh, there are a lot of animals to look at. Now, I'm looking back here, the big fix truck that's back here. Uh, we're going to get to that. The, now, is that a service that if people can want already have pets, they can take advantage, or this is strictly for adoptions today and throughout the weekend? Yeah, the big fix is our mobile spay-neuter clinic, and it normally does provide spay-neuter services to the public, but for the event, it's just for the animals that get adopted. Now, some of the animals here are already spayed or neutered ready to go but if they're not fixed already we fix them and you pick them up the next day and it's all done you don't have to worry about anything so the event today starts at two o'clock give me the times for the rest of the weekend today from two till seven saturday ten till seven and sunday eleven till four okay, now let's talk about really quick hit on this before we finish our segment here it's a long life adoption what is that you know we are asking people adopt for life keeping your pet for its lifetime. If everyone did that, we wouldn't have all these homeless animals here. And a lot of these animals end up here, no fault of their own. They're great, wonderful, loving animals. But people sometimes get frustrated or they have life changes, and they sometimes may give up their animal more easily than they should. So we're asking, please come out, adopt, 
keep your pet for its lifetime, spay and neuter your pet, and please adopt from a shelter or a rescue group. Thank you so much, Holly. So keeping with that theme, when we come back, we'll be talking to John Winder. He actually adopted a dog from one of these programs, from Super Pet Adoption, and he even named a business after the dog. So it's about lifelong adoption, Dan, not, not just fads. Don't watch a Hollywood Chihuahua and then adopt a Chihuahua for two weeks and that's it. No, no, it's not about that. Long, long life commitment. That's what we're right. about. Don't right? be fickle. That's Yep. Yes, right here. That's right. That's what we're right. saying right there. <laughs> so we're going to talk to John Winder when we come back. Bye, guys.